Today I'm going to talk about the ultimate unfair advantage when it comes to athleticism and strength and speed. And it's not performance enhancing drugs, although those would give somebody an unfair advantage if they were competing against people that weren't on them. But the ultimate unfair advantage is genetics. Some people just have better genetics for sports, physical activities, explosiveness, etc. And this has been throughout time. Now, how can you tell if you have good genetics? Now, we all had that kid that could do things a little faster than everybody. He got on the bike a little bit earlier. He ran a 50-yard dash the fastest in PE. He was hooking up with girls when he was 13 when the rest of us were still playing with action figures. Not saying this guy amounts to anything later on, just saying he has a head start. He's going to be doing well at sports at an early age, playing an advanced level at an advanced level, and it's going to re-stimulate all those things. Uh, and if he's not channeled through the right things, he could end up in prison or he could, you know, end up managing a hardware store with a beer belly 10 years later on. Who knows? But I'm saying we all had that kid, and that's the kid with good genetics. To give you an example of athletes who had good genetics, let's go back to the pre-steroid era of the NFL. And really the steroid era of the NFL begins with the 1963 San Diego Chargers. This kind of happened in the middle of Jim Brown's career, but I don't associate Jim Brown with anything that happened in 1963 and so on. He started playing in 1956. He played at 6'2", 232 pounds. And if you've ever seen a movie with Jim Brown in it, or pictures of him, he was often shirtless, and he was pretty chiseled at 6'2", 232. And I bet you a lot of bodybuilders, fitness people, would like to be 6'2", 232 and be chiseled. Now here's an image of Mickey Mantle's famous shot at the old Yankee Stadium. This stadium was around till about 2009. He hit it all the way off the facade. The facade was taken down sometime in the 70s, but that's everybody who ever went to Yankee Stadium knows how high that is. No one ever hit it there. A-Rod, all those guys had a chance to. No one hit it that far. Mantle hit balls 600 feet. Mantle could also drag bunt a single, and he got from home to first base in 3.1 seconds. And I think they clocked Bo Jackson uh, during his baseball career at about 3.2. And uh, Mickey's drug of choice was Miller Beer. That was his performance-enhancing drug. And uh, how did he get that way? You know, at 19 years of age, he made it to the major leagues. I'm sure it was a little bit of hard work, but uh, genetics had to be involved somehow. Taking it back even further, we have Arthur Saxon, strong man in the late 19th, early 20th centuries. In his early 20s, was bent pressing well over 300 pounds, military pressing well over 400 pounds. Those are some very good gains in the pre-steroid era. So my basic point is that genetics are the ultimate unfair advantage, especially with strength and speed. Some people just do something out of the blocks as good as somebody will ever do it, practicing and practicing and practicing it. And it's not only true with strength and speed. It's true in different kinds of sports as well. Somebody who's a great distance runner usually is born with a better VO2 max. Somebody who drives race cars for a living has a nervous system that can just fire those neurons a little bit quicker than everybody else. So it's just true across the boards. Shouldn't be a discouragement to anybody, but let's not pretend you know, that just because somebody's good at something, they're on steroids, or how do you work so hard to be that good? Usually they're starting at a place that's a little better than everybody else. Occasionally you see that person that has the work ethic who can will himself to uh, some great feats of strength, and that's, that's a little more true in strength than speed. You can't will yourself as much in foot speed and explosiveness, but you can will yourself in strength, and in turn that'll help your foot speed and explosiveness. So no discouragement for anybody. It's just a fact of life, just a point I'd like to bring out and just also show you that before, you know, steroids, there were just people that had the ultimate unfair advantage and that was good genetics. So catch my videos later. I'm going to make more of these. Sayonara.